uh, we'll go ahead and click record again, and then we'll click record again. And uh, okay, now you're good to go. Rock with it. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> Hi everyone! Hi! Um, this is the best opening ever. This is what made us officially famous. Right? So, hey, Chelsea. Hey, Stacey. I don't know who needs to hear this, but your ex is going to tell you you were a psycho anyways. Might as well cause a scene. (gasps) I mean, you're true. (laughs) (laughs) Who is she? (laughs) But our song. Hey, Danes, play our song. (laughs) I don't think I've laughed this much before an intro before. It's been a minute, right? Does your tank top actually say anything on it? It it is literally it's just been that kind of day. Like so, like this morning, I'm running um the breaking down the ring guys, and like they've got like their yeah. hyper cool Sunday 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 intro. Rah, 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 that they do. Phil's watching live, and I for, I forgot to change it from because like there's like three different settings in the software. Like you can have it just uh, it's you know manual or play cue and whatever. <laughs> and I left it on play cue because uh, the last time I was on Zoom, I was just like running some music through the background of the chat that we were in and all that kind of stuff. And so like they're you know super macho rah, 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 breaking down the ring. Um, led right into like an 80s remix dance remix of tiffany i think we're alone now <gasps> yes! and but like so like luckily i was still sitting because i was obviously still sitting here and i caught it and i'm like oops sorry sorry mikey and he's like no that was my jam and what would they say yeah so yeah that's 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 just been that's that's the day that's here we are you, on you know it you the, do. Eight, the 89th you know the of, chorus the 89th of april uh oh. whatever whatever the hell day we are i i i got Preach. nothing I promise you, even at work, I've been typing all month, oh, like stuff for April, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, it's May. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Sometimes I put 2019 just because I'm like, I want a do-over. And also, speaking of do-over, my favorite event um, during this weekend, usually Adidas presents the do-over and it's in the the, what is it, the belt alleyway, like next to the Z lot yeah, yeah. in Detroit. And they just have a bunch of rotating DJs. And it's my favorite event every year. And I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, exactly. yeah, no, be there now. No movement right, in general. Exactly. Just... Exactly. <sighs> oh, can... Right. Anyways, I'm Stacy. <laughs> I'm Chelsea. And this is Reasons Why I'm Single. What did I'm going to go duck out and get that coffee. I'll be back. But I was going to say, <laughs> so you just don't want to have girl talk with us anymore? <laughs> Great, um, Dave dumped me. That's why I, I was going to make a scene. I'm back. <laughs> That's what they all say and do. <laughs> um, Stacy, I don't know how you do when it's hot outside, but I am the crankiest person when I'm overheated. Like, my dream temperature is like, <laughs> it's like 62 degrees, and, and it's, it's very not 62 degrees right now. So apologies to anyone listening and offended. <laughs> Listen, so summertime is my time to complain because I am a snow bunny. I love snow. Even though I'm not great at snowboarding, I still love snow. So when the heat hits, I'm like, y'all, this is my season to complain. I warned you. Y'all made fun of me all winter time. You're about to hear all these complaints right now. But yeah, it's way, it's way too warm. Right? Get these complaints. <laughs> like I never wear like sleeveless stuff. I always have a sweater on. I'm wearing shorts. I'm just ugh. Speaking of shorts, I did shave my legs yesterday for the first time since February. You're welcome, America. You're welcome. Like, we out here. That was my kneecap. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> Recap it. of the kneecap. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> this has been Stacy's poetry slam session. <laughs> oh, my word. What's going on with you and your neck of the woods, my darling well, friend? Um... Okay, so nothing new with on the Gary the Bird front, for those who are oh. worried or wondering. Um, I put the owl outside because we couldn't, we couldn't get it, because it rained like all week, so we couldn't get it like up on the roof. And um, so I put it outside just hoping oh, that would like visually deter. Yeah, no, there. I actually have a picture of Gary sitting right on top of the fake owl, <laughs> like squawking <gasps> away. Does not yeah. give, not one. Gary not doesn't one. play. 
Yeah. Gary's like, that's all you got. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's happening. A friend of mine did message and say, hey, you know, clearly you're going insane with this bird. <laughs> First <laughs> of all, there's a pandemic. So <laughs> she, um, to keep, to keep birds off her boat, she uses these, uh, I keep wanting to say hieroglyphic and that's not a thing. They do have owls. They do have owls and hieroglyphics. <laughs> um holographic that's what it is holographic color and it's like a mobile a mobile and the color and the light reflecting makes them stay away from it and i was like oh cool i just need like 15 of them you know 15 <laughs> i'm not playing stacy <laughs> wait so like did like gary and brenda have they reconciled or is it just um, okay, like gary, gary like gary and brenda are like twitter paid twitter paid at af and they're like running around the neighborhood running around our lawn literally yesterday we were eating dinner and it was the only thing you could hear it, they were so loud and my, <laughs> my my mom's like there's a bb gun at your grandparents house and i was like sold like i, I i'm <sighs> trying to be passive but i just i mean let's be real first off i'm not going to because like i have to shoot at the house <laughs> i don't want to find a window <laughs> Facts. These are also, facts. But, so yeah, the, the, he's driving me crazy, and I just I I have dreamed so many dreams that I just that the bird just magically disappeared. I I don't want to say like I commiserate commiserate with the mob, but like if someone came up to me yesterday and was like, I can make this bird disappear for you, I'd be like, cool, done. Sure. <laughs> so you'll go on a date with my cousin, blah blah blah. Yeah, I guess like, so. <laughs> I can make that bird swim with the fishes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <So funny. laughs> no, it's funny because I've like turned into a pranky old lady. So I'm fortunate to have, you can't see, but on the other side of this camera is a nice front window. So I have nice natural mm. sunlight that makes me look okay, which thank God, because May, I'm thankful to be working, but May is my most stressful month. So my face is broken out in this nice like rash on my cheeks, which has not been cute, but um, there is this one, I don't know where they live, but it's this kid who takes his little dog for a walk and the dog poops on our lawn and the kid does not clean up the poop Ooh, and it gets on my right. last nerve. And I've seen it happen twice. And the thing is, I'm usually on a call like this for work, so I can't, like, you would just see me like, <laughs> and being like, you know, yes, logistics, let's talk about it. <laughs> like, and so the last time I legit, because I have a tissue box at my desk, so I chucked it at the window and then the kid went running. I'm just like, you piece of crap, I'm gonna find you at some point. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll just put something down there so then the dog can eat it and it'll just be like a nice little detox. So it'll just poop all over the kid's carpet unless he has hardwood, probably does spoil a little brat. But then dogs are always going by and marking that same spot. But if they pee at it, it's fine. That's what dogs do. They mark their territory. But then I don't want all of the dogs having to suffer and eat this nice dog detox. And then they're pooping all over their innocent owners' homes. So that has been my saga. <laughs> this episode is not brought to you by PETA. It's, it's not, it's not, but you know, like humans do detoxes, but I feel like we take care of our pets better than we do our own bodies. Cause I'm just yeah. like, I'm gonna just go through a drive-thru. I would never give Sparky something from a drive-thru, which was my childhood pet. Thank you very much. Golden Retriever, Retriever, beautiful dog. We were going to name him Simba because he was so cute when he was a puppy. We'd hold him up in the air, but I was like, he won't grow into that name. So we went with Sparky. He's, he was a good dog. He was a very good dog. So was Gomez. Oh. Childhood pets. What a weird way. <laughs> I know, right? We're gonna kill animals that we don't claim as our own. Ah. Um, <laughs> well, before we before we get into what we plan to talk about, um, should we take care of some business? Sure, Chels. What is it time for? It's time for the fake name series of the day. Hey, so the fake name series of the day is what we use to say <laughs> So instead of using people's real names, we use names that are from the fake name series of the day to hide their identities. But if they heard these stories, they know who they are. Hey, 
Hey, hey, don't say their name. Hey, hey, ain't getting sued any day. Hey, hey, you don't have us to blame. Hey, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> Listen, album's coming soon because this is what you want, America. This is what you want. Because what else are we doing? <laughs> Oh, goodness. So today's series of the day is going to be uh, the TV show House. Hey. I love House. Yeah. Um, I, you definitely told me, and I didn't look it up. But basically, <laughs> Dr. House is a, he's a diagno diagnostician of super, super rare cases. But he's also a drug addict because he has an injury. I forget why. And he's got helpers that are hot. You've been updated. Hey, I know Omar Epps is in it. And he sure is. He's one of the hot <laughs> assistants. Bam. <laughs> Sounds like an accurate description to me. <laughs> oh my goodness, hysterical. So Stacey and I were talking. It's and true. we were like, what the heck are we gonna talk about? We have not been going on dates because we're living our social distancing life. And, and because I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> um and i've been doing a bunch of other stuff like i'm a friend of mine is sick and i'm trying to help out you know that whole thing and uh so we're going through we're going through the stuff we're like what are we gonna talk about and i was like and i can't <laughs> after some really excellent ideas we, <laughs> yes. we came up I was like, the only other thing I can think of is maybe we could read each other's, um, read our 2020 prediction horoscopes and see how wrong they are. Hey! <laughs> so, I was born, I was born by, by the, the river. river. Yes! <laughs> come on! I was born in Because a change needs to come. <laughs> change gonna come. Uh, <laughs> I was born September 17th. And that makes me a Virgo. Hey. Hey. And what about you, Stacey? Tell the thing. I was born March 29th, and that makes me an Aries. What up, though? Hey. Hey. Ooh, Dave, what you having? Uh, Ooh, just Dave, wanna, you I just want to having a conversation with my daughter, uh, who's, who's uh, 12, about to be 13. And as a result, uh, I'm going to be adding some vanilla cinnamon Baileys to my coffee. Quit talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to know what the conversation was? Or is it just the fact that she's 12 going on 13? <laughs> well, it's, well, she's 12 and thinks she's 30. That's part yep. of the problem. Um, gotcha. Yeah, I knew those the world? girls, but I definitely wasn't that girl at 12. And, and she's, yeah, she's one of the, so it's, it's the same conversation all the time. Like, you know, she opens the garage door and she's I'm like, where are you going? She said, well, what do you mean? She said, where are you going? Outside. Where are you going outside? <laughs> She's hanging out in the front yard. Why? Why, why are you so skeptical? Because I know you and you don't just go hang out in the front yard. Why are you hanging out in the front yard? <laughs> She's like, well, my, my, my friend's going to bike by. Uh-huh. Which friend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Savannah and her cousin. Who's her cousin? <gasps> Brian. Yeah, uh -huh. there it is. <laughs> uh-huh. Is, uh, oh. is now a good time to remind you that there are video cameras covering every square inch of the outside <laughs> of this house? She's like, Dad, I'm 12. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm like, yeah, I know you are. That's yeah. why I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, when I was in ninth grade, I got confirmed. And at my confirmation party, um, my friend, give me a girl name, Stace. Um, let's go with Nurse Wendy. Nurse Wendy um, met my cousin. And they hit it off like crazy good. And then she constantly wanted to hang out with me so that we could justify my cousin coming to my house so they could hang out because they uh -huh. were dick. See, exactly. See, I'm, they think I'm oh, dumb. I don't know why yeah. they, I don't know why they think I'm dumb. They, 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 they should know better by now, but. Right? Yeah. You're like, I lived this life before you existed, kid. <laughs> I lied every lie. I told every story. You are not getting away with shit. <laughs> so Stacy. <laughs> yes. What? Oh yeah, so astrological friend. Sorry. Birthday? <laughs> oh, March 29th. I'm an Aries. Hey. Hey. Okay. So we went to, in case you guys wanted to look up yours, we went to horoscope.com and then clicked 2020. So it's a year overall, like an overall year, because otherwise it's just for the day. And that's but they do have a quarantine horoscope. 
for the day, which is kind of funny. So, but um, also, fair disclaimer, because y'all know I'm a hater at heart. Like, I am not a horoscope person, but I'm just like, eh, why not? <laughs> well, right. I mean, honestly, it's like they didn't predict anything that this happened so far, and everything has been a shit show. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so there's several categories. There's Ooh. personal. There mm -hmm. is love couples, which is not us, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> We're just friends. <laughs> and then there's love singles. Hey. Hey. Then there's career and money. Oh. And then there's also 2019, which could be funny if we looked at just to see how wrong that one was. But, like, we know 2020 is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's how wrong. It's so wrong. <laughs> like, do you think I said sarong? No, I said harong. Look it out of my mind. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, I would put that on, but it's harong. <laughs> it's not funny. But I love the colors. <laughs> it goes with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Okay, so this is what mine says. Uh, for personal, uh, Virgo horoscope, take care of your mind and body this year. Your ruler, Mercury, is one of the fastest moving planets, so your mind is naturally quick and alert. This year, Mercury begins in practical kindred earth sign Capricorn, Capricorn words. All I heard was corn, and I was like, I'm hungry, so I'm here for it. <laughs> um, and quickly forms a conjunction. Conjunction, junction, 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 junction. <laughs> Love Schoolhouse um, Rock. With mind expanding Jupiter, setting an optimistic tone for the year, feeling broad minded and sociable <laughs> is a great <laughs> way to start 2020. <laughs> well, to start, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. New Year's was popping, and then everything just went down. Um, <laughs> It says there's three infamous Mercury retrograde periods to watch out for um, between February 16th and March 9th, June 18th and July 12th, and October 13th and November 3rd. Uh, since Mercury is your ruler, you probably know that this is this bad mouthed transit will do its best to bring things to a standstill. But don't worry, your positive actions can be very effective. Bring things to a standstill. Put your positive actions, helping out a sick friend. Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, this year's Mer Mercury retrogrades all visit emotional water signs. So intuition often trumps logic when avoiding obstacles and dealing with dilemmas. Ooh. <laughs> the sun shines in your order-loving sign from the end of August until the end of September. My birthday. So happy practice, happy birthday, practical, hardworking Virgo. The final days of summer are the perfect time to clear out excess and get more organized, even though I've had nothing but time already and have already done that. I could do it again, I guess. <laughs> it just means you're ahead of the pack per use. <laughs> um, friends and family might ask for your assistance getting themselves in order as well as your because you have a reputation for being meticulous this is also oh. time to take care of health issues so schedule schedule your yearly doctor's visit and follow up on any tests or lab work you have done oh wow oh. there's my 2020 predictions for personal what about you stacy what you got okay so personal what do you got I mean, that's accurate being a virgin. <laughs> that's all we have. Um, so, hashtag sorry, bro. So, <laughs> um, Aries horoscope. You're a fire sign who's always ready for whatever challenges life brings. And this year is no different. Step up and conquer the world when it opens. Um, you feed it off the fast paced girl, energy. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia Keys. Um, have you seen the memes where it says, like, you know, what is it? Like, 2020 plans and then 2020. And one showed 2020 plans with Swiss Beats and his, like, wife and kids. And it, it's just, like, 2020. It's Alicia Keys. <laughs> so disrespectful. That's terrible. No, there's another one that was um, 2020 plans. And it shows, um, 
Lauren Hill's character from Sister Act 2, and she's like singing with the choir, and it's like 2020, and it's her mom. <laughs> See, I, I, I like that one. <laughs> yes, there was a ton of them, and I was cracking up. Anyway, sorry. So, back to me, the Aries. You feed off the fast-paced energy from your dynamic power planet Mars, and 2020 starts with this aggressive planet in Sagittarius, the sign of adventure and knowledge. And I don't know what any of this means. I just know that I follow Jesus. All right, world travel now is an amazingly <laughs> eye-opening experience. This does not, you can still follow Jesus and, and listen to a horoscope and think it's fun. Like, let's not... <laughs> It's, too much. it's not like I was like, do you know what we should do, Stacy? <laughs> I don't know. What we do? <laughs> Demons. <laughs> this is accurate though. World travel now is an amazingly eye-opening experience now. Well, it was, and I had some plans, but hey rich with valuable learning experiences. It will take another several months until the end of June, until Mars reaches its most dominant placement in your sign, where it will stay for the next two months. Winning is your main objective, and yes, you can be a sore loser. Whatever. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> you totally can! I know. The sun visits your sign from mid-March to mid-April. So happy birthday, courageous, inspirational Aries. Can you feel the anticipation building towards something amazing? You're in your element now. So for the next month, you're a straight up warrior, especially when it comes to competitions. You destroy anything in your path and you enthusiastically push toward achieving your goals. Anyone who dares to stand in your way should now watch out. You have zero patience for haters. That's so, so true. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> wounded Chiron is in your sign all year, causing a major identity crisis. Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N, I may be pronouncing it incorrectly, challenges the very idea of what you believe in and are, and makes you wonder if you're on the right track to reaching your life's purpose. The worst of this transit could cause you to question if you even have a right to exist, but the Chiron retrograde cycle from early July to mid-December helps you reawaken the underlying Aries fire and understand why you've been undervaluing yourself so much. Embrace opportunities for spiritual healing now. Listen, I done okay. met a lady named Heidi B who helped get my life together. <laughs> we, okay, so here's the thing. I, I looked it up because you spelled it, and I had to. And it's <laughs> That's why you're my um, girl. Shiran is a the wisest of all centaurs in Greek mythology, famous for his knowledge of medicine. I'm a marry a doctor. <laughs> <gasps> Come on, 2020. <laughs> or they have a PhD. I mean, you know, it's cool. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It says that he was the wisest and the justest of all the centaurs. And Stacey, you are very wise and just. Oh, I feel the same about you, actually. Um, I, it says, I, I am. Petty. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> It says, Chiron is in my sign all year, causing a major identity crisis. Um, which, thanks to Heidi B, I could see giving you that wisdom, giving you that knowledge, making you questions and stuff. Like, personally, not spiritually, but... I feel the same way. Because okay. it's been... Right. And also, if y'all haven't picked it up already, um, how you quit... Relationship messing. right... <laughs> relationship writing how i stopped fucking randos and started cupcaking my soul soulmate by heidi bushy highly recommend man game changer i've had great talks with family and friends thanks to this me book too. me too yes oh so cool oh. i like it oh is that your personal one was that it i'm sorry no I was that was like, it yeah i was i was like right to research more things for you. I was like, oh, I got this. Okay. See, All right. this is, this speaks to what a good friend Chelsea is because I am like, a se <laughs> maybe not so secretly, it's been like four years, America, that I am like a hater. I go on like with a whatever attitude, but then afterward, I'm like, oh my gosh, that really touched me. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't care who Sheeran is, but <laughs> then Chelsea's like, no, wait. <laughs> like, I'm going to look it up because this is what we have to talk about for the next hour. <laughs> Have you met us? We could talk to a brick wall for an hour. 
the other day I called Stacy and I was like, I can't talk very long. And she's like, great. And then I talked for 40 minutes straight. And then she talked for 40 minutes straight. And I was like, oh. <laughs> After we were texting, tried, me trying to figure out, wait, so can I call you or no? Because I have news. <laughs> I'm like, sure. I'm just tired, but it's fine. No. Okay. So now the other options are love singles, career, and money. I'm thinking we do career and money. Or do you want to do love singles? Uh, toast up to you, Beeb. Let's do career and money because that's kind of up in the air right now for me. <laughs> Listen, for all of us, if we're being honest, like, who knows what the new normal is going to be? Yeah, seriously. Stay off. Sorry, I'll play. Okay, let's see. Virgo <laughs> money. And sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I just love the intro set. I just read, like, in my mind, the intro sentence, and it just made me laugh a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you know, horoscopes.com must be killing it because they got a lot of ads. That's all. Right? Like, I want to be mad, but at the same time, I'm like, listen, like, y'all got this. Like, in the Bible. Hustle, hustle, hustle. So, Virgo money and career horoscope. Mm. Work hard for what you want in 2020. Hardworking Saturn is in ambitious Capricorn, a kindred earth sign and sign it, oh, wait, a kindred earth sign and sign it rules. I feel like there's a word missing there, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they have a job opening for an editor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Um, a kindred earth sign and sign it rules. Oh, okay. I got it. Five times. All right. So hardworking Sam, Saturn and Capricorn are kindred earth signs, but like Saturn rules Capricorn and oh. sign it. There we go. Also, shout out to this, your tattoo. Like, yes. Hi. Yes. I got it in Ireland. Which is amazing. <laughs> I was like, I need to work out more because I used to be able to, like, make a line that pointed to it. But, yeah. So. <laughs> Dude, all of us. I gained eight pounds this month. Eight pounds. All I do is eat cheese. Like, my emotion apparently just wants dairy. <laughs> All I do is eat, 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 no matter what. Got emotions on my mind. I don't want to deal with them. So every time I step into the kitchen, then the fridge opens up. And I eat, and I eat cheese. Hey! Hey! Eat cheese, eat cheese, eat cheese. <laughs> Tea pain. You've always been so good to us. Thank you. Wow, that was, I haven't done that in a minute. That was fun. I, I can't with well, you, too. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I just picture, you, like, Dave just like this the whole time. Like, yeah, why? Just, like, he's like, no, more. Uh, no, I was laughing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. At the beginning of the year, um, those two, Saturn and Capricorn, form a serious conjunction with Pluto. Conjunction. Ooh. Again. Function. Schoolhouse rock. Yep. Parents, bust those out for your kids. See how they like them. <laughs> Getting the year off to a productive start is what this transit is about, especially if you remain patient and disciplined. You might be given extra responsibilities that could lead to an increase in salary. Mm -hmm, sure. But be prepared to really work for it. There are no free rides now. It's literally one sentence that says there are no free rides now. Is that not true? My God. I wonder if they edited it like a couple months in like, oh, snap. <laughs> Things are going terribly wrong. <laughs> Forget you, Saturn. <laughs> Your stupid Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Your power planet joins with financially gifted Taurus at the end of April. Okay, financially gifted Taurus. <laughs> also, what up, bro? <laughs> uh, creating more money-making opportunities for you, especially when it comes to using communications, information, and our technology to advance your career. Does that mean I, like, logged into the unemployment computer and they gave me a check? Because that's true. Hey. <laughs> If these are your area of expertise, expect good things. Tried and true methods work best now, as this transit is rooted in common sense. The simplest approach is usually best, and traditional methods surpass experimental ones. <laughs> the first word of the next one is Uranus, and I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> Forget you, Saturn. You're right. That was like the time I like cried when you broke me. 
young gay men. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's a scientist. That's amazing. What's going on with the planets? Um, Uranus loves change. <laughs> it said, ouch. <laughs> Oh my God, Uranus loves change, however, and because it's accompanied by money magnet Taurus this year, you'll gain the best rewards when you're willing to take risks at certain times. I don't think this is about money anymore. Well, maybe it is. You just didn't expect it to get it that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll know when these too good to pass up opportunities come along. Ooh. This, this isn't always easy for you, as you prefer, typically prefer to play it safe with Uranus. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> and your finances, but this transit tries to teach you that with big risk comes big rewards. I'm sorry, all I picture is a Venn diagram with, like, Uranus but and but finances. Stuff. But like, stuff. that's an odd mashup. <laughs> Does that mean I'm going to get financially up the pooper? <laughs> You're going to make a boat, a buttload of money. That's what oh, I'm see, saying. That's much more positive than my, 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 yeah. Um, I got you. <laughs> buttload of money. <laughs> big risks, big rewards. However, hey. during this retrograde period from mid-August until the end of the year, you'll want to ponder more than act. Take it slow with your anus. Uh, if you... Review the financial plans you've set in motion recently with an eye towards making changes if necessary, but not till 2021. Ooh. My career has a lot of mentioning of butt stuff. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> so Chelsea, this? how's your job going? Oh, you know, butt stuff. <laughs> So what it says, like Uranus, like it means no. They're talking about the planet. It's just when I'm saying it, and a podcast is listening to it, I'm talking about butt stuff for like the last four minutes. <laughs> no, I know you were because I thought I got it because I couldn't stop giggling either. But I just didn't understand how they meant it. I was like, okay, is Uranus like? Is it an opportunity? Is it a person? Is it just like, like I don't know a ton about horoscopes. Whatever. Or we probably should have brought somebody on who knows stuff about horoscopes, but then we couldn't giggle at Uranus. And <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to appear on a later episode, you can, uh, y'all can keep the quarantine, um, flow we going can... and slide it into our DMS on Facebook, which is reasons why I'm single, or you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at the same handle, which is R W I S podcast, or you can email us at reasons why podcast at gmail.com bam there's Keep actually a sliding. guy now that i'm thinking about it there's one of the guys that does the high vibe guys show with us uh on thursday Boos! i love those uh, dudes yep. what up high so, um, vibes guys asa, asa, ben asa. is man's he's, a superman he's like the astrology king when it comes to that stuff you should get there you go he is he <laughs> is i've met him in real life the man is like I promise you, if you could just like a bottle the light of the sun and put it into someone's body, when you see him, he's just yeah. this glowing man. He absolutely does. Like, thank you. I'm not wrong. And yeah, he's no, just he really so, does. oh, he's so great. But no, those are my dudes, high vibe guys. They're awesome, doing great things for Detroit. Holler. Holler. All I heard was he, you could just take the bottle of the sun, and then I was I'm still on the Uranus thing, so I was and then, stick, and then stick and then put it in Uranus. It was, yep, uh, yep. No, mix it with no. Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could pronounce it. But Uranus. I do believe, like, and and I could be completely wrong, and maybe I'll look it up while you're telling yours, Stacey. But I believe that each planet has a different like emotion attuned oh. to it. Like Mars is like rage and like anger i d i don't know well that's gonna... great because the intro of mine starts with mars <laughs> I've, I am i'm learning gonna more... google it i'm gonna google it okay i'm gonna ecosia it hey uh also mm -hmm. shout out to apple for like making stuff great and possible and zoom yeah. yes all right so here we go <laughs> so we're here. So for Aries, money and career horoscope, 
what you lack in luck or skills in 2020, you more than make up for in sheer effort. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Oh. <laughs> that's why I burst out laughing initially. So your power plant Mars starts the year in energetic Sagittarius. So you should be able to push ahead with current projects. However, when your aggressive home planet meets up with workaholic Capricorn in mid-February, you can really start to get the job done. This dynamic duo gives you the drive to succeed beyond your wildest dreams and you don't mind working overtime to achieve your goals. Hmm. Money making <laughs> Venus. <laughs> right? Money-making Venus moves into Taurus, the sign that loves money the most at the start of March, which all but gives you permission to start printing your own cash. Oh, grab hold of all financial opportunities now and don't be afraid to work hard when the right chance comes along. Though Saturn moves into eccentric Aquarius at Aquarius at the end of the month, calling on you to change things that aren't effective. Don't be afraid to walk into a meeting and announce your ideas loudly and proudly. Your unique perspective deserves to be heard, and it's that very same unique take on things that can earn you a raise, promotion, or brand new career opportunity. Yes, Jesus, fake it. Another big event to circle on your calendar is the full moon in your fiery sign at the start of October. At the first zodiac sign, Aries, you're all about taking the initiative but a full moon asks you to be patient and reflect, which aren't exactly your strengths. You rude. Reacting to career problems in a only new rude way is a true. <laughs> What'd you say? I said it's only rude because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Um, <laughs> reacting to career problems in a knee-jerk way is about the worst thing you can do now. Luckily, you'll have the fair-minded Libra sun in the sky at the same time to help balance you out and prevent things from becoming a complete disaster. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, um, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay, so I looked up Mars. And its function is will and courage, fiery and passionate. So not aggression, just fiery and passion. Well, fiery. Arr. Arr, arr. But I like fire. I think fiery is a good thing. And then like, what was the one we were laughing at? Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> Hello. I'm like, Chell, take one guess. <laughs> you just want, it's, it's like you just wanted to say it again. What were we talking about? <laughs> um, it means its function is individuality and change. Ooh. Right? That, that's not butt stuff. <laughs> there, there you have it, America. It's not butt stuff. That needs we're to be learning, the title. We're growing. We're learning and growing. It's not butt stuff. I'm writing it down. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. It's like, when Uranus, it said, U R A N U S, not Uranus, Y O U R A N U S. Get you a man that spells correctly. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Money makers, doctors, and grammatically correct people. <laughs> All right, let's click to love singles because this actually took a decent amount of time. We're doing pretty, we're doing it. Okay. Doing it in the, oh, that's a rough song. <laughs> Love with you, Listen, um, I, re I see singles and I think cheese because cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, there's like stuff going on in my personal life with this book and Stacy knows all about it. So I'm super curious what this has to say. And because likewise, like yeah, this book was a yeah. game changer. Game yeah. changer. I promise you, I came out of it like, and like, because the book is where you start the work, but then yeah. you have to continue the process. And so it has brought me like better, like self-awareness and self-confidence and things that have happened where usually I've curled, I would be curled up in a ball and crying. I've been good. And I'm talking in all areas of my life, not just relationships. Like the book really touched on all facets of my life. Yeah, me too. Um, speaking of books, Stacy and I were talking about it and because we have our for your anniversary coming up in three weeks uh, we are gonna pick a book we're gonna announce it on our Instagram we'll put it on everything but like on our Instagram if you want to find it um, when the podcast drops on all the podcast things which is usually Thursday so if you want to read a book with us and then we're gonna discuss it on our four-year anniversary so Aww, we're gonna have baby. a single book club 
Hey, because we're smart up in this piece. Single. Okay. We like to read. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all that profile says. <laughs> why am I single? That whole thing just there. Um, Not okay, Uranus. So, <laughs> Virgo singles horoscope. Love might not be a top priority this year. <laughs> Is that bad already? Okay, right? Bye. I'm like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> um, but you'll make room for the right person. Oh, okay. So maybe I'm just being more selective. Standards. Mm -hmm. Okay, get them, people. Uh, <laughs> single Virgos do not throw. Ooh, shook the thing. <laughs> Earthquake. Uh, Shaking it up. <laughs> Single Virgos do not thrive when loving Venus is in Pisces to start the year. Is that not the truth? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but you do get a much needed passionate boost from the Venus Aries pairing at the beginning of February. Mm. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. <laughs> Uh, switching gears into a more passionate, spontaneous energy isn't easy, but making the transition has great benefits. Use the ram's fiery competitiveness to win the affections of your crush, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Right. It's just, just a little mm -hmm. crush, crush. <laughs> got things every, every time we do. I love that! I know you do. Jennifer something? Jennifer something? Oh, love it. No idea. Um, showing them that you're willing to fight for their attention is a huge turn on. Stacey, I'm not comfortable talking about the accuracy of this, but we, we know. So, yes. <laughs> a, full know. Moon in, a full moon in your sign at the start of March can exa exaggerate your critical side which isn't always a good thing. That's true too. Are you ruling out dating because of a very small detail? Stop talking about my life. <laughs> <laughs> Throws the laptop. Wait, no. <laughs> Do you find yourself dis discounting dates with perfectly good people for trivial reasons? Luckily, you have the energy of the gentle Pisces sun to soften your edges now. I am very sharp edged because delivering <laughs> harsh criticisms to potential love interests. My not sharp, they're laid. Won't lead you to being part of a couple at any point this year. Literally, how many times am I like, listen, you need to wash your hair and brush your teeth. And like, I mean, really though, everybody should be washing their hair and brushing their teeth. Proper um, hygiene, even during a quarantine. I mean, we get it. Some days you don't feel like getting out of bed. Trust, I've been there. Right. Welcome to my Memorial Day weekend. Thank you. All of those who gave us America. <laughs> um... Man, lovely Venus enters beauty-loving Libra, Libra, one of the signs she rules, um, towards the end of October, infusing the autumn air with idealistic fairness. Balance is a priority now, so if you're juggling a heavy workload or family life, it might be hard to fit a date into your schedule. Mm, preach. You will make time for the right person, though, and the right person for you now will... <laughs> the, the right person for you now will likely have Delicate features and impeccable manners. What are delicate features? On a dude. <laughs> I don't know what they are on a woman. I mean, delicate features are like soft. Like, you know, you're very proud of your jawline. Like a delicate feature would be like a soft jawline. Like, yeah. I mean, you have a great jawline. What's but a it's soft not, But it's not delicate. It's, it's there. It's pronounced. Like. Oh, yeah. For sure. Look at right. that. Look at that. Okay, I don't want to delve into the accuracy of my 2020 love horoscope, so let's just dive right into Stacey's. Let's do this. Aries single horoscope. Is it time to commit? The decision is completely yours this year. Mm. The end of March brings one of the luckiest transits for the single ram, which is the Venus-Jupiter trine. Um, excuse me? <laughs> this is the exact definition of lucky in love. If it's been a while since you've been this optimistic about love, it may seem strange and unfamiliar. Did we remember we talked about last week where I was like, Michael B. Jordan came back and I'm just like, um, what are you doing? <laughs> Accuracy. Don't back away from that happy feeling, Aries. You deserve to have a great time dating, getting to know new people, and maybe finding the one. 
Loving Venus enters emotional cancer in early August, which is a sign she feels comfortable in and connected to in a special way. You will see the positive results of this special bond in your love life as you feel motivated to find more loving, committed partnerships. If you had enough of playing the field, this transit will be a very welcome one. Romantic Venus spends time in adventurous kindred fire sign Sagittarius mid-December, at which point your heart should be ready to come out of hiding. Oh, you sometimes bounce from one night stand to the next, mm. but what's really going on in that heart of yours? <laughs> Venus in Sagittarius will find out. It's hard to cover up what you're truly feeling during this transit that likes to see love grow. And if you're stuck between will we or won't we, it's time to decide or move on for good, Aries. Dang. Oh. Okay, minus the one night stand thing, which we all know is not true. <laughs> right? That's some like, um, addendum. <laughs> That's pretty darn accurate, too, Stace. Scarily, yes. <laughs> Man. Banana boats. Dave, you want us to read your horoscope? <laughs> I, I've actually been scrolling through it uh, while I was sitting here, and mother of God, the pop-ups on this website. Uh, I'm uh, right? You, right? I, the, the website needs to just burn in, just burn in fire. Yeah. We, um, we, man. Yeah, I, I, I finally closed it out because I got – and it's the worst part is it's not even just as you go from page to page – just sitting on a page, new ones yeah. pop up. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm done with you. Gone. But <laughs> what you was your sign? Again. What's your sign, Dave? Um, your... I go figure I'm a Taurus. <gasps> no. Money making Taurus. <laughs> if y'all don't know about Podcast Detroit, now you know it's that stuff. I wish. Uh, uh. Oh, it is. Podcast Detroit is the stuff. They are. You're with us, America. That's why you're with us. Welcome. <laughs> you, Chelsea, you look like, um, like, aw, when you go flying. <laughs> um, and they play the little, like, video instead of having the actual people do the demonstrations. And, like, Delta, they're like, welcome to Delta. <laughs> and it's just very, like, somber. We come from all over the world. And we're happy you're in our seats. <laughs> right? <laughs> Exits are here, here, here. Please put your own face mask on before assisting someone else with theirs. Thank you for flying with Podcast Detroit, where the airwaves are the best in the nation. Aw. <laughs> he was like, oh, thanks. We can't see his face, so he's like, aw. <laughs> yeah, right? You <laughs> right he's like y'all got four minutes <laughs> the show came back magically <laughs> listen i am oh, i i don't know i see this is the thing i would love to say that like the stars it's written in the stars what's gonna happen in my life but I feel, like I'm, I feel like i've messed it up enough that like even the stars are like you know what do it yourself <laughs> <laughs> I, I have nothing left to tell you. Just just wing it. Yeah, like you've done too much. It's gone too far. <laughs> but I like doing the most. <laughs> I'm an Aries. That's me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> oh, listen. God is a God of second chances. So it's like, you know what? Why not? Maybe I will love. <laughs> There why is not? A, there is a Hillary Duff song called Why Not that I know you don't know, but I enjoyed <laughs> it in my head. <laughs> it's like, why not, why not take a crazy dance or take a crazy chance? Why not do a silly dance? Speaking of doing a silly dance. So your hater over here, Stacey. Chelsea had told me about the show Flirty Dancing, Flirty Dancing a while ago. And I was like, this is different, but stupid. So no, 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 no. This is not, a, I literally sent this to her saying, shouldn't I be on the show? That's, that's a hundred percent what I sent it to her for. <laughs> Accurate. But like me, I'm like, this is not, I am not a love romantic person, like kind of like that. But then with this horoscope, it's like, maybe you are, and you should just like really open up. And I'm like, maybe I am. <laughs> And so it came on last night. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me watch it. And that way Chelsea and I can talk about it. When I say this hater was converted to like the biggest believer in it, first of all, it's adorable. 
it's absolutely adorable. Second of all, I'm terrible with choreography. So I was like, I'm totally going to get stuck with the second emotional song because the camera work makes them look amazing. Even yeah. if you're going like, huh. <laughs> like the whole time. That's but right. I was such a fan of it. And there's like no hard feelings at the end. Cause you know, you wait at a restaurant or whatever, and it's just like, oh, if they show up, then, oh, they well, picked you. If not, for, it's fine. For those of you who don't know, flirty dancing is where one person is set up on two dates, but the date is that choreographer, choreographers teach you two different dances. And there's one guy who learns one dance or one girl, and then one guy or girl who learns, learns the other dance. And then on the same day, you go to this like epic, beautiful place in Los Angeles and then they you do the both dances and then afterwards you have to choose which of the two people you'd like to meet again and from just only based on the dancing there's no talking there's no nothing literally the second you finish the dance you walk away from each other although there is one episode where <gasps> the guy um gets like it's the emotional dance and at the very end of it he leans in and kisses her and it's like because <gasps> they've so never spoken so listen, America, it's the most epic blind date you could ever go on. And yeah. you learn, what, what's her name? Jenna. Jenna Dewan. Who's a, a fantastic dancer, choreographer, all that stuff. So she choreographs the two dances. Like, that's your date. So I, that's what I really liked. I like the innocence of it. Because it's just like, oh, I learned this dance. I'm going to do it with this person. Like, do whatever. And then when you're done, you just head your separate ways and then you find out three days later like if they're going to meet up with you or not so the first episode that I watched I really enjoyed it and it showed the couples afterwards and they're like yeah we're still talking but oh my goodness I oh I think I am like turning into like you know I I always say I love love because I watch I like watching love happen to other people but I feel like part of the work this year is me being open to that happening to myself I like that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys the other excellent news. Um, Juliana, multi, multi two time guest of the show, she's engaged. Oh, on Juliana. Juliana. Yes! She's living her best life. Her ring is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm so happy for her. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, that's her. awesome. Oh, <laughs> she messed See, me. I love yeah. love. <laughs> like, oh my, I think I even said, I love love. Like, <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, that's awesome. There, I just read, what was it? It was somewhere on someone's Instagram, how this couple, there's been a lot of engagements happening during quarantine, which I think is super dope, to be quite honest. Right. And there's this one couple that got engaged, and within a week they were married. They're like, listen, let's just do the dang thing. Right. Like, let's just. Let's just be together. Let's just let like listen. I mean, honestly, if you can get through this where it's every day, all day, these are the this is the person you're seeing, man. Then you know what? So you know, I mean, plus I always think of stuff like my grandpa. My grandpa told me my grandma like the second he saw my grandma, he saw his whole life, and I'm like, man, I wish oh. I were like that now. But like, yeah, I mean, but man, you put somebody in like quarantine them for like. <laughs> For like, what, 10, 10 weeks, 11 weeks now? <laughs> Man, I know a few couples that had to postpone their weddings. They were doing destination stuff, and they're like, we all had to cancel our tickets and everything, so we're just going to do it next year. I'm like, this is interesting. So yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. They say I'm crazy. I've got you crazy. Only Britney Spears song I will reference. Only one. Womanizer. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. What else have I referenced? You referenced very quickly other ones. That's the only one you reference consistently. But you have definitely referenced, like, you've referenced Stronger. And, <laughs> and I want to say, I want to say you've also referenced I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. <laughs> I can see you doing that, like, very sarcastically. Because <laughs> I can't stand the end of that song. I want to say, I'm not a girl, don't tell me what you believe <laughs> oh man love it i didn't well, realize both britney and chris not a girl don't tell me what to believe also okay also i never <laughs> realized until now both britney and christina had a song called stronger 
No, Thanks, Christine, this was called, no. Christine, this one's called Fighter. Dang it. Did yeah. she say stronger in it? Uh, yeah, make me that much stronger. Oh, there make it me is. A little bit harder. Make yeah. me that much wiser. Thanks for making me a fighter. fighter. Um, Thank and you. Britney's was stronger. No, stronger than yesterday. Oh, I do know that one. Something, yeah. something from a mile away. <laughs> My loneliness ain't killing me no more. I'm stronger. <laughs> Not ever thought that I could, <laughs> babe. <laughs> babe, babe. <laughs> What I the? used to go with the flow. <laughs> you know another Britney song. Get like, you a I'm friend not. that calls that's you on your stuff. Because that's just the only one that you like sing consistently. But you do you do sing other ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is real friendship. You get you a real one that calls you out on your crap. <laughs> I right. like, I right. Wait, oh, I'm on that side for you? Wait, I think, we'll go like I think this. you're on this side because I got on for I got on earlier. Here. Ah! Oh my god, this feels like prison. <laughs> Dude, I went through a Burger King drive-thru. No, I went through McDonald's drive-thru. Nope, I'm and looking at it on Facebook. We went the wrong way. I knew it! <laughs> ah! Ah! We're like an after school special. It's gonna be okay. High five! <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the tv show where he's like we're happy and we're singing and we're color do, 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 do. the wayne's brothers give me wayne's a high five five, five cut and print beautiful guys yeah. <laughs> yes they do actually say and they're colored in the chorus yeah that that's not just me that's uh, yes yes yeah. please know that america because i said that <laughs> no, <you're... laughs> no but there's no everyone watched the wayne's brothers yes sean and marlin <laughs> Heck yes. Listen, I had a blast. How did you do? I had a good time. More self-discovery. I like it. You know, more butt jokes. <laughs> Dave, thanks for dealing with us. Thanks, Dave. It's what I'm here for. We appreciate it. <laughs> we do. We like you. Some may say love you. Someone has to. Yay! Jesus Lots does. of people do. Lots of people do. Is that hard? I'm having issues. You know, um, I always used to make it like this, but then everyone started doing this because I feel like the other way is more accurate. Yeah, but I feel like this way it kind of looks like a vagine. That's what someone said to me. So I'm like, I mean, but yay women, but eh. I'm just, That's all I got. I'm just gonna let that slide by. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna comment. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let it go. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you say hi to us on Facebook. Check out Podcast Detroit's other shows. I'm Chelsea. I'm Stacey. And this is Reasons Why I'm Single. Okay, bye. Bye.